Chapter 3, Consequences of Offending Me Quinn said coldly, Secretary Kin is my right-hand man and he has been with me for eight years. Do you think I will believe your nonsense or Secretary Kin? After a moment of silence, Fade looked at Quinn's eyes. They were filled with anger and disappointment. Fade lowered H.I.S. head feeling disappointed. Quinn snorted slightly and said, I don't know what rumors have you heard in cafeteria that you have any other thoughts. One thing you have to remember is that the marriage between us is just an act. Remember your place and don't cross the borders. Also, don't interfere with my private issues. Do you understand? Quinn Tones is now a little harsh. Fade looked into Quinn's anger-filled eyes and took a deep breath before saying, President Lin, I understand. Hump, well then, you can leave now, Quinn said coldly. Fade walked out the office without saying a word. Arriving at the elevator, Fade pressed the down button and entered the elevator. Just as the door of the elevator was about to close, the voice of Quinn and her secretary sounded in the president's office. That person broke at the president's office without an appointment. According to the rules of the company, he will be fined 500 yuans, which will be deducted from HIS salary this month. Yes, the secretary replied respectfully. The door of the elevator slammed shut, as heavy knock of a hammer fell in Fade's heart. A bitter smile formed in the corner of Fade's mouth. Shaking H.I.S. head, Fade said softly in the voice that only he could hear, Yes, we are a couple only by contract. Everyone is just acting according to their needs. I'm the one that being stupid. When Fade returned in the medical room, Xenia was already there. Xenia saw Fade's disappointed expression. She couldn't help but act carefully around him. Xenia slowly approached Fade and asked, Fade, what's wrong? Are you unhappy? Fade smiled at her and said softly, I'm fine. In the afternoon, their work continues. After getting familiar with HIS new job in the morning, Fade eventually started HIS work officially. The company's medical room is mainly to treat some common illnesses such as headache and fevers. For the staff of the company, the common method is basically to prescribe medicine according to the symptoms of the disease. Illnesses that are more severe will not be treated in the medical room. Now that Fade is here, the situation had been a little different. Relying from the experience of learning on Mount Tianwu, Fade not only has knowledge in martial arts but also have an achievement. In medical field, from some ordinary symptoms, Fade can cure the patient simply through acupuncture or massage without any prescription, and the result was great. Illnesses that is usually complicated and couldn't be cured in the medical room can now be cured by Fade easily. Therefore, news spread among the staff that there was a magic doctor in medical room of Fade Enterprises holding ink. It was not even 4 o'clock in the afternoon when the medical room which was usually empty had more than 20 employees waiting inside. This has caused Xenia to work non-stop. After sending for the last staff with a headache, Fade and Xenia were about to take a break. At this particular moment, a tall figure appeared at the door. Xenia immediately went over to greet him. Please come in. May I know where do you feel uncomfortable? Before Xenia could finish her words, she was shocked by who she saw. She then asked with surprise, Secretary Ken, why? Why are you here? Fade also looked up and saw a tall figure in formal suit and leather shoes at the door of the medical room. It was none other than Donald, the secretary at the president's office. Fade frowned slightly. After all, Xenia had told Fade before this that the executive of the company would normally not come to the medical room as they were very clear about the professionalism of the staff in the med room. The executives, all greatly concerned about their health, if they feel any discomfort, they will go to hospital in the city for a checkup, instead of visiting medical room in the company for treatment. Now, Donald, who had never been in the medical room, suddenly showed up. This was surprising to both Fade and Xenia. Surprise flashed through Fade's eyes for a moment and the next moment, he returned to HIS normal state. Looking at Donald, Fade asked, Is there anything wrong, Secretary Ken? Donald observed Fade and curved HIS lips while saying, there is something wrong with my calves. Your calves. Fade looked at Donald's calves and pointed at the seat in front of him. 
please sit down Secretary Ken, I'll have a look. I don't feel like sitting down, Donald looked at Fade. Fade was startled, but in the next moment he said, in this case, I'm afraid it's not convenient for me to diagnose and treat you. If it's not convenient, then you may change your posture to make it convenient. For example, you may kneel down and have a look to diagnose. The corner of Donald's lips went up and sneered at Fade. Fade who had smiling immediately turned stone cold, Fade looked at Donald and coldly said, What did you say? I said you may kneel down and have a look. Donald said coldly. Fade put down the equipment in H.I.'s hand, looked at Donald and pointed at the door. If you're not seeking treatment, please leave. You are asking me to leave. Is this how you do your work? Donald glared at Fade while questioning him. Fade remained silent, but still locked H.I.'s cold stare at Donald. In just a moment, the tension in the medical room rose unexpectedly high. Xenia panicked. Xenia never expected Donald to have a fight with Fade. One is the secretary of the company's top management. The other one is a newcomer. How could there be any grievance between them? Secretary Kin, Dr. Chen is new here. If you don't mind let me have a look at your calves. Xenia said to save the situation. Xenia then went over and was ready to bend down to diagnose Donald. However, Donald kicked Xenia away and coldly said, I've said, I want him to come over, don't you understand? Xenia rubbed her bruised arms and looked at Donald with slight anger. Secretary Kin, I, I'm not. If not, then shut up. Donald snorted and directed to Fade once again. Donald's voice was stone cold as he repeated, I want you to kneel down and see what's wrong with my calves. Fade looked at Xenia who was sitting on the ground with tears in her eyes and looked at Donald who was standing in front of him. There was a hint of anger in H.I.S. eyes. What do you want? What do I want? Donald grifted H.I.S. teeth and whispered to Fade. I want you to know the consequences of offending and making him report against me. Hearing this, Fade heart trembled and he thought of what he had told to Quinn earlier in this afternoon. For a moment, a great sense of disappointment surged on Fade's heart. Kneel down, Donald shouted at Fade. Donald's voice snapped Fade out of H.I.S. voice of way thoughts. Fade voice out firmly. No way. Thanks for watching and reading. The other chapters of this novel is at the description. Please like and subscribe for more incoming novel videos. Thank you.